Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, today I am in my kitchen and I'm going to be making a Dalgona matcha latte. If you guys have TikTok, or even if you don't have TikTok, you, if you own any piece of social media, you have definitely seen the Dalgona coffee trend that has been taking over the internet. It is so, so good. I make the Dalgona coffee all the time but i am a recent fan of matcha and i discovered a dalgona matcha latte from my mom's friend's daughter and i was so excited to try it i was like oh my god i have to try it like asap so i did and i was like i need to show you guys how to make it because it is just so stinking good and i know a lot of people are really getting into matcha or just trying to find different substitutes for coffee because like not everyone is a coffee drinker if you guys decide to try it out on your own just shoot me a picture on either instagram or twitter my handles are at lovely nicole or if you just want to shoot me a comment down below and let me know that you made it and your thoughts or opinions about it definitely let me know so before we get into this video i have to wash my hands <laughs> my hands are clean and we are ready to go so for your ingredients all you need are two eggs you need some sugar matcha and a milk of your choice um i'm gonna make this recipe for my mom and i so just a heads up, this is gonna be like enough to make two matcha lattes. So if you just wanna make one cup for yourself, like you're not sharing with anyone, just half the recipe. But for today's video, I am going to be making enough for two people. So my mom, she likes oat milk. I also like oat milk too, but I wanted to try this recipe with um, just regular reduced fat milk. So that's why I have both here, but I have tried it with the oat milk and it is delicious since oat milk has just such a nice sweetness to it. It's very, very good. Cooking with lay starts now. So for this recipe, you're probably like, whoa, why are you using eggs? But we are actually using egg whites. And I know you guys are probably freaking out now and saying like, ill, that is disgusting. But honestly, it's not. If you have tried the cloud macchiato from Starbucks, then you have tried raw egg whites in a drink before. It literally doesn't taste like anything, and also it is a good source of protein. It just really doesn't taste like anything. It's really part of the drink just to make it fluffy. Okay, so to get your egg whites, I have a little bowl here, and I have this strainer. I don't know what the technical term for it is, but I'm just gonna call it a egg white strainer. That's probably what it's called, honestly, but I have no idea. Okay, so you're going to take your egg. I'm so sorry, you literally can't see this, but it's fine. Just listen to the sound of my voice. You're going to crack the egg open and the yolk is gonna fall into the strainer, therefore producing the egg white. You do not want the yolk in there. So you're literally just taking the egg whites and you see, look, beautiful. That was easy, right? One egg white down, one more to go. Now we have our two egg whites in this little bowl. So I'm just gonna pour it in this small mixing bowl. Hello guys, so change of scenery. I had to move over here because we have a outlet on this wall. So obviously on the little island over there, there is no outlet, so I had to move over here. But now we are going to take our egg whites and we are going to use a hand mixer to mix it all together. It's crazy how the egg whites look after uh, mixing it for like five minutes. It looks like so white and fluffy. It looks like a cloud. It's just so cool. So I'm gonna do a time lapse so then you guys can see what it looks like. But um, yeah, you literally just do it for five minutes. It takes a while, but the end result looks so, so beautiful. Well, let's get started. So 
So as you can see, this is what the raw egg whites look like once you whip them for about five minutes. Okay, so after whipping the egg whites, you are going to take two teaspoons of sugar, but you are going to do it one at a time. So I'm going to put one teaspoon of sugar in first, then I'm gonna mix it for a little bit, and then I'm going to put the other teaspoon of sugar in. Okay, time to add the other teaspoon of sugar. So now it is matcha time. So just like what we did with the sugar, you are going to do one teaspoon of matcha, mix it all together, and then do another teaspoon of matcha. So as you can see, just with one teaspoon of matcha, it made it so green. So time for the second teaspoon. So this is what the matcha latte mix looks like. Um, you could just like stir it around for a little bit. Like if you still see like some of the dots on the sides, cause like normally the matcha powder will like fly on the outsides of the um, mixing bowl. So you could just like try to scooch them on in there and just like stir all together. So um, I know you can't see like the counter right in front of me, but I am just taking the milk and filling it about like two thirds of the way full. Once we have shaken the oat milk, I am pouring it about two thirds. Well, not two thirds. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but I got this matcha mix from, or matcha powder, I mean, from Whole Foods. But you can find it like pretty much anywhere, I'm pretty sure. You can also order it off of Amazon. Here we go. We got our milk already. Let me put it back in the fridge. So now you are just going to take a spoon and your bowl with the matcha and just Slide it on into your cup. And guys, this thing is so delicious. You will be making this probably for the rest of your life, every single day. And there's like obviously so many ways to make it as well. Like if you're not a fan of raw egg whites and you're a vegan, you can use aquafaba. I personally have never tried it because I don't really know what it is. Like I guess it's a substitute for raw egg whites, but um, you can do that. I found recipes online where you use heavy whipping cream instead of egg whites, which I definitely do wanna try. So this is what your Dalgona matcha latte should look like. Um, I obviously like mix it together so then the milk and the matcha is like thoroughly mixed. If you leave it like this, it's just gonna taste like milk at first and then you're gonna taste the matcha. So you're just going to take a spoon and mix that all together. But just for um, this video, I'm leaving it like this so then I can take pictures of it for thumbnails afterwards and just so then you can like see the prettiness and the aesthetic of the Dalgona matcha. So let me do a close up of what it looks like. As you can see, very aesthetically pleasing. It obviously looks like a latte. You got the milk on the bottom and then the matcha on top. It just looks so, so beautiful. So that is it for my Dalgona matcha recipe video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you are going to attempt this recipe or if you have already attempted it and let me know what you think about it. And also remember to send me pictures of it through Instagram or Twitter because I would love to see your matcha creations. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.